Hey, it's Justin Rojas, and we're here at BlizzCon 2018. Up here at BlizzCon 2018. Uh, USA kicking things off. And it's instantly the Lucio's removed from the United Kingdom. They've lost their main support of hydration once again. Drops in the side door. This time gets uh, Goats. Yeah, Goats is the nickname for it because the first team that played it was called Goats, but it hasn't worked. A lot of health, a lot of mobility. But it's gonna be tough for him to retake control of the point. And as soon as he leaves it, Matt One is done. Who used to be a Genji main knows just how to deal with that kind of stuff. Now it's the last chance for the USA. Desperately, they throw themselves at the point. But Moomer is removed. Orb of Discord so powerful here. And Boombox is channeling that Zenyatta prowess so well. EMP just to finish the job. And Raucus is caught on that one. Nothing he can do about it. And the three Lions take it two to one. They lead the series now against the absolute favorites of this tournament, Matt. That's it. Fusion's put in the hammer at Hammersmith. And now he's going to bring it down one more time. And there it is. If there was any time, it was right there! And the United Kingdom complete the upset we never thought we'd see! It's day one, game one, and the USA are out of the Overwatch World Cup! Hey guys, Coach Arrow here. Coming off the loss. This is actually really hard to answer. <clears throat> a little disappointed with how we did today. Um, I think everyone's a little, you know, a little sad we didn't really uh, a play up to our own expectations, but uh, you know, you you live, you learn, uh, you learn from mistakes, and you move on. And everyone's just uh, looking forward to Overwatch League season two. So thank you, everyone, for the support. Let's take a look at Team France, our team that has really trained with some of the best, right? But Canada, they are no slouch as well. They know what to expect here. Did talk with Jane a little bit in the beginning, and he says, you know, we think we can take this. But first map coming up here, and this is a new one. Busan going to be starting things out. AKM needs to start producing here with the Widow down. This is his time to shine. He only has to worry about one DPS. Here he is flanking behind, but he just can't finish off these flying characters. There he is, though, finds Megachu. Trimso falling to the floor. He's got no one to pocket now. AKM rolling around, just cleaning up these final members of Team Canada. But Team Canada approaching 99% capture. All they need to do is get one flip here. By the overwhelming fight of Team Canada, Megachu slipping in. What a barrage! Finds it somehow against this counter pump. Drops the barrage, opens things up. Canada coming back in with a vengeance! And the French team getting pushed off the point. 94% for Canada. And now it's do or die for France. Just to delay, just to buy time. Will anyone even get here? No, Canada taking round number one. Transcends in from Canada. Back the other way. Poco D backed. And France fighting to put this one away. The grab from AKM sets up another two. And France wants to bring this to a round three. But they still need to do a bit more. They're going to get more. Can they take the point now? It out. What a beautiful grab from AKM, finding exactly the three supports of Team Canada and nobody else. If you put that Ryan and Diva in the grab, they just end up protecting and tanking for their squishy teammates. But it's AKM's perfect grab that secures that team fight and the round for Team France. As you said, ZP, they're going to back three. Again, respawn back, Bedfest in, but out just as quickly. Canada, they drop the beat, untouchable right now in the moment. And France, how much more do they have left? Throwing body after buying the fight. XQC cleaning house. Back to the grab. Doesn't want to get eaten. Drops the grab. Picks up four. Oh, throw you there. No, not quite yet. I'm going looking for the XQC. Making room. France struggling. Struggling. It's not enough. Canada going to take back two. They need a bit more of the point. XQC. Let it all out. Rage to your heart. Content as Canada makes the space they need. Point A is theirs. And they move on. That's a 3-0 for Team Canada over Team France. We saw their death, they thought France would win. Shows what they know. Team Canada looking so clean here, playing so well, and with so much trust and just, just team play here. I mean, this is a team we know they haven't practiced as much as others. They are relying on trust in each other, building that natural synergy. Uh, so we played against Canada. Uh, it didn't go as planned. We were pretty confident going into that match. Uh, we. Out. We, we didn't perform like the, the way we wanted to, we wanted to perform. Uh, personally, I played really bad individually. Uh, I think as a team, we played really bad. 
so we got free old basically. Uh, the, the maps were really close, but it's like really not what we expected and what's not what we wanted. Uh, I mean, we lost Rio against Canada. Uh, I'm kind of sad of our performance as a team. There is nothing to say, I think we just lost, they, they were better and that's it. I'm just gonna play the game and I mean, I will stream and practice. I think the, that's the only thing I can do. I think we start practicing in November with Dallas Fuel. So, it should be fine. You got Team Finland and they're gonna do what they always do, get, gather around, be, be a group, right? You know, get that teamwork, that PMA going on. You got Taimu in the huddle. Notorious uh, for PMA. Exactly. <laughs> uh, Team China takes the stage here, and I do agree with that video right after. Down, Gavin is very charged up. Gravitol you know, circuit, and everyone's calling that one. This is gonna hurt. Come here, Ryan Children. Sky down, Yushui charged up against the wall. Leaving in Bertal, yeah, they're gonna get shot by Left on the side of Finland here is looking dire in the sky. Sets the nano boost away, and Gushra is going to be more than happy to lap up the distressed Omni. Jumping forward now, and it will just be links to be removed, and overtime is about done. And China, oh, they're more than one step ahead, I'll tell you that. Gushra knows it just doesn't matter. Zap was desperately trying to get back towards the point now. We're in overtime, Finland was supposed to take this. They were supposed to take it to one more map. Canada is a great team. I think they always show up in the World Cup, but China brought their A game this time. I think uh, they were really prepared to really show the world what they could do, especially coming into the Overwatch League next year with a bunch of new teams. And yeah, really impressed with them. And uh, you know, props to them for making the finals. Over the top South Korea, they're getting aggressive. Been taken down. China is also missing lead. For this style of tournament, it all depends on who shows up on the day. And uh, Korea did. A lot of the other teams didn't, but all in all, it was a lot of fun to see some of these new teams kind of showing up. UK did a great, a great little showing there, and uh, obviously China made it all the way to the finals. Unfortunately, no one from Dallas Field made it. Then it was still a great showing for our players and our staff, and a great event overall. I'm just more excited about uh, the Overwatch League season two. I think that's where all the hard work that we're going to put in is going to matter. I really plan to show that we are going to bring it this year for season two. Burn blue.